Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Just Your Average YouTube where today we're going to be looking at the Skulk Sensor and a mob farm I designed using it. So this is the basic redstone and basically if a mob touches it and wanders, okay now wander, creeper you missed your cue you're supposed to wander, oh uh, line, you're supposed to wander that's your job wander already. Okay, but when they wander, it probably needs more space in order to wander, but when they do decide to wander, these skulk sensors will... Uh, what if I just... Uh, uh, hmm, what if I put another creeper? Then will you wander? Mm, what if I had a bunch of creepers like that? What if I just bonk? Boom. See... See, it works. But basically, if any motion is made, immediately the uh, creeper will fall, right? So the way this is built is pretty simple. So let's go and actually view this thing on a much larger scale. Okay, so here is the farm as it currently sort of stands. Now, here are the interior modules, which are like the like things and this is 14 blocks across right so that's that's the downside one module is 14 blocks across but you can make modules overlap with each other which is the upside see the module is from skulk sensor to skulk sensor but they can share a skulk sensor which is pretty epic uh but basically the way you're going to like build these is like you just go out somewhere and like, oh, I accidentally broke that. But like, yeah, basically, it's pretty good. And the the reason that this is so good, if you didn't know, is because basically you can expand it this like backwards forever, and you can expand it forwards forever. And like, yeah, now if we have a creeper and he wanders, we can show you exactly how this works. Okay. So, just wander. Just wander, my guy. Just, just wander. Please wander. Wander, 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 wander. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Slow motion replay right there. Boom. And then he drops down because when the mobs drop, they touch the drop, you know? And it activates the skulk sensors so they don't have to wander more. And that makes all the other mobs drop as well. And you can expand this farm out as big as you want this way. And as big as you want the other way as well, as big as you want upward, you name it. You could also rig this up to a timer or something that opens the floor every so often, right? Like, yeah, that would be cool. Like, yeah. But how you build this is you go, let's just say, oh, no. Let's just say over all the way to here. And we'll start with right here so right here we have ourselves the outer sort of wall and we're going to need to grab ourselves uh hoppers and soul sand and other things because what we're going to do is place a soul sand right here and we're going to place hoppers let me grab a chest we're going to place a chest here for the storage because collection is one big massive thing that you gotta solve sometimes, right? Now, you don't have to use this collection system or killing system. You could drop them. You could put them on the new spikes. You could do whatever. But this is what I'm currently doing. Just boop ba doop boop 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 you know? And then we can take uh, another wall right here and just make this exist. And build these. And then, as soon as we reach here, we start building this, which is the actual redstone system. So you put a line of orange wool, and then, oh, I put that in the wrong spot. You're going to want to put it one block back, like this. And then you're going to want to put a line of redstone torches, and a line of sticky pistons. Now, these sticky pistons are going to be holding your spawnable block. Anything but like wool or whatever. We don't want wool. Uh, and then, of course, back here on the other side, yet another layer of wool and sticky pistons. 
and you're just going to want to do the same size, like the modules divided in half down the middle. So like, yeah, these two sides, you're going to want the two halves of the module to be equal. Uh, now you could technically do this with one, but that's not really space efficient. So uh, then we just build up this here wall, build up this wall here. And boom, anything that spawns can't get out if there's like blocks in front. And now you're going to want to put a layer of these down here. Now, these aren't needed for the first layer, but other layers it will be needed for. So that way the pistons don't start like a chain piston reaction, right? So we can remove them for the bottom layer, but the next layer you're going to need them. So then what you're going to want to do is take a line of redstone here, put uh, repeaters across here. And then take out some redstone dust, if I can find it. There it is. And then lay it down like this. And then put some skulk sensors on top. And now, when you do it right over here as well, uh, it should fire off the skulk sensors whenever, right? Like, every single time, right? Boop, like that. Now, whenever something in there moves, it will detect it, but not the pistons. It won't detect pistons. So then what you're going to want to do is grab yourself some carpet and put this across here and then put more blocks across the top and make a two layer. Like I was saying, you're going to want the blocks beneath, then redstone torches across the top, and then you know the drill. You place the pistons and you finish off the farm. Uh, and you just keep repeating this over and over and over again. And if you want to link up the farms, like I said, just take these repeaters here and put them on the other side of the skulk sensors uh, and just build another module. You don't need two skulk sensors or like whatever. You know, you don't need to double skulk sensor it. You don't need them right next to each other. You can just use the same skulk sensor. And yeah, that is how you build the farm but that'll be it for this episode everybody i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this episode remember to click the subscribe button road to 100 subs and most of all have a nice day bowdy